Once upon a time, there once lived a very happy princess whose tiara was envied by everyone. It was as bright as the morning star and magnets the attention of many. One night, when the princess was fast asleep, her tiara disappeared and was stolen. The news about the missing tiara spread vastly, which sent the entire kingdom of Mathena to chaos. Hello there, fellow Bolinian. By the way, my name is Geza. And I am Chloe. And my name is Chofi. My name is Mark. My name is Astrid. And we are my the Big Hero Six. Hero 6. Would you like to help us find the princess's missing emerald tiara? In order to find the missing tiara, we must first solve a few mathematical problems about arithmetic and geometric sequences for us to know our way through this handy map. Pattern Numbers, shapes, or objects that are arranged according to a rule. Sequence, a set of values that follow a particular order or rule. It can be finite or infinite. It terms a value in a sequence. Series, it is the sum of the terms in a sequence. So, what is an arithmetic sequence? And when can you say that the sequence is arithmetic? Arithmetic sequence is a list of numbers that follow a specific rule or pattern. If you pick any number in the sequence and subtract it from the one before it, and the outcome remains the same or constant, the sequence is an arithmetic sequence. The difference between consecutive numbers is called a common difference. How will you find the nth term of arithmetic sequence? In order to identify the nth term of our arithmetic sequence, we must utilize the arithmetic sequence formula or a sub n equals a sub 1 plus open parenthesis n minus 1 close parenthesis d, whereas a sub n represents the nth term, a sub 1 represents the first term, n as the number of terms, and d as the common difference between terms. What are arithmetic means? The terms of the arithmetic sequence between two given terms are called arithmetic means. It simply involves taking the sum of a group of numbers, then dividing that sum by the count of the numbers used in the series. How to determine arithmetic series? An arithmetic series is simply the sum of the terms of an arithmetic sequence. More specifically, the sum of the first n terms in an arithmetic sequence is called the partial sum. Great! Now that you know everything about arithmetic sequences, let us now proceed to the solving of problems involving arithmetic sequences. Suppose you are given the arithmetic sequence 4, 9, 14, 19. What is the tenth term of this sequence? Feel free to pause the video to be able to solve the problem on your own. Time is up, now let us solve the problem together. As you can see, we used the formula a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 multiplied by d, where a sub n is the term that we are looking for, and a sub 1 is the first term of the sequence, and n is also the nth term that we are looking for, and the d is equal to the common difference. So in our problem, our a sub 1 is 4 since it is the first term of the sequence and n is equal to 10 since we are looking for the 10th term of the sequence and our common difference is 5. We can easily find the common difference by subtracting two terms of the sequence and in our case, we will be subtracting 9 by 4. 9 minus 4 is 5. Now, let us first solve the numbers inside the parentheses. So 10 minus 1 is equal to 9, then multiply by 5 is equal to 45. And then add 4, we have 49. And therefore, the 10th term 
of the sequence 4, 9, 14, 19 is equal to 49. What is a geometric sequence? And when can we say that a sequence is geometric? Well, a geometric sequence, also known as a geometric progression, is a sequence of non-zero integers in which each term after the first is determined by multiplying the preceding one by a fixed, non-zero value called the common ratio. Wait, what does a geometric mean? A geometric mean is any term that appears between two other terms in a geometric sequence. How to determine geometric series? A geometric series is an expression formed by adding the terms of a geometric sequence. Thus, the nth particular sum of a geometric series is the sum of the first n terms of a geometric series. Awesome! Now we are off to our last and final mission in which we will be solving problems involving geometric sequences. What is the common ratio of the geometric sequence 1, 4, 16, 64, and so on? Feel free to pause the video so that you may answer the problem by yourself before we solve it together. Now let's solve the problem together. To find the common ratio, choose two consecutive terms and find their quotient. For example, 4 divided by 1 is equal to 4. And 16 divided by 4 is equal to 4 as well. Thus, the common ratio is 4. Likewise, the next term of a geometric sequence can be obtained by multiplying the particular term by r or number 4. For example, in this case, the term after 64 is 256.